today's episode, I'm going to be making a Thai starter called maho. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. When translated, that means uh, pork with fruit and peanuts. I'm imagining it's going to be my fruits, which I'm using tangerines, as you can see here. And it's going to be layered with my pork, uh, fried pork mix, as well as uh, the nuts. And I'm going to be using a stylish uh, Thai food in minutes. It's by, and I hope I'm not butchering this, Vacherin Bumichete. Vacherin Bumichete. No, do you know what? If you're Thai and you know how to pronounce that, yeah, please correct me. Um, I really, really love this cookbook. This is one of my favorite cookbooks in my collection. The reason why I love Thai food, very, very exotic and sharp flavors, sweet, um, sour, salty, you know the, the themes. But they're yet yeah, so very simple to put together and this is one of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, let's get into it. So today I'm going to be using about 70 grams of minced pork, um, some coriander to garnish, uh, two tangerines, uh, some red chili uh, for garnishing as well, uh, fish sauce, black pepper, two shallots, got some sugar over here, my oil for frying, and I've also got my roasted peanuts over here as well. So from the recipe, the first thing I'm going to do is basically just take out our tangerine segments. So I'm just going to peel away and break them into segments. I'm going to be very careful so I don't tear the tangerines as I break them. So this next part is actually quite tricky. Um, the recipe book doesn't actually give a picture of how it's meant to look. The description says the meat and the peanuts are meant to go on top of the tangerines, but as you can see, tangerines are basically this shape, um, like quarters, and for meat and, and peanuts to sit on top doesn't really make sense. So what I did was to uh, do some research just to see if I can find pictures of how the recipe looks, um, and I found a YouTube channel. Um, I'll put the link in the description, um, very, very good technique and what uh, the lady did was basically to slice the back of the tangerines and then you open them up to almost make like a bed in between. So I'm just going to attempt that, we'll see how it goes. Basically, just made a slice through the middle like that. Oops. Like and then, ah, okay, not bad. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got to see our tangerine butterflies are looking really good. I'm actually impressed. So this will definitely form a, a good foundation or a good base rather for, for our meat and, and not mixture. So the next thing we need to do from the recipe is actually to start to fry our pork and our, the rest of our mixture. But before we do that, I'm just going to basically prepare and slice all our ingredients. Um, so starting off with the garlic, and you're going to need two cloves of garlic. And to give this a rough, just rough chop, really, nothing fancy. And put this away. So the next thing is our two shallots, uh, finely chopped as well. Just thinking out loud, I know not everyone is a fan of fruits mixed with uh, savory items like meats, i.e. the classic example, um, ham and pineapple, pizzas, but I think it's worth giving it a try. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. I'm a ham and pineapple guy. So next thing I'm going to just slice for now is our garnish. So 
So the last thing I actually is our roasted peanuts. So I've got about three tablespoons and I'm just going to coarsely ground this up. Okay, so it's now onto the frying. So I'm just going to stop my frying pan. So I'm just going to put my frying pan on a, a medium high heat. Add one, uh, one tablespoon of oil. And to add my garlic. I should have actually let the oil heat up a little bit first. So that's frying away and I'm going to add my shallots as well. I'm going to fry these until they get brown. So I'm just going to stir them from time to time. And according to the recipe, this is the point where I add my pork. Sauce. One teaspoon of sugar. So at this stage, I'm going to stir in my peanut. So it's now time to just garnish our tangerines. So I'm just going to put a tablespoon of our pork in the knot mixture on each tangerine. Just trying to be mindful of the size because some some tangerine segments are smaller than others. So I'm just going to garnish each one with just a slice of red chili and coriander leaf as well. Okay, it's taste test time and um, I'm going to start off with the looks. I'm really happy with how easy or straightforward uh, slicing the tangerines into like little butterflies was. So that, that was great and the, the pork mixture was pretty straightforward. Um, so it looks quite pretty. You have the diverse colors going on. The orange from the tangerines, the brown from your, your pork and your peanuts uh, mix and the red chili, vibrant green colors from the coriander. It looks, looks pretty, so a good starter. Um, like a nice canopy if you're in like a party or you have guests around. So. Thumbs up for, for the look. I'm just going to have a bite on one of them. Not the easiest things to, to grab. If you're grabbing it, oh, that felt. Hmm, that's hot. It's different. If you traditionally have Thai food, um, some of the flavors coming across aren't really surprising to be honest. The pork, the peanuts, you you would get that in like your typical pad thai, that type of, of flavor profile. I guess the different highlights here really is coming from the tangerines and that contrast, that fresh, sweet flavor, as well as the that sweet and sour from the pork. Um, I think that's the that's the big difference here. But still, it's yeah, it's it's simple. It's a good starter canopy. Yeah, it's not bad. 
It's definitely not bad. If you're not a fan of mixing fruits and, and savory items, yeah, I don't think this is going to turn you around. But if you are, um, you just like to try new things. If you haven't heard of a maho, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Uh, that's it. So thanks for watching again. As usual, like and subscribe, uh, support the channel. If there's anything you'd like to see me cook, uh, yeah, just let me know. Or any comments you have about the recipe, tips, tricks. Yeah. Catch you guys next time. Bye. Vachelin Bumite. No, do you know what? I'm not even going to try. I should try. Vachelin. Vachelin Bumichite. Vacherin Bumichite. If you're Thai and you know how to pronounce that, 